Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 30th of August. Hey, we are a couple of days away from the beginning of meteorological fall. Thursday, can't wait. My favorite season, but we all know it's still pretty hot in early fall around here. A lot of tropical activity, a lot of things to talk about. Let's take a look at the Skycam images around the network this afternoon. First off from Tuscaloosa, are you ready for some football? Yeah, kicks off this weekend uh, at his Bryant-Denny Stadium on the campus of the University of Alabama, where the sky is sunny and pretty hot today, but the humidity values are low. There's the Skycam coming from Jasper in Walker County from high atop the uh, King Building. And from Demopolis. Nice look at the Tom Bigby River as seen from the Skycam at the Demopolis Civic Center. Those darker shades on the water vapor satellite imagery, that means the air very dry. Got a strong Vortmax north of us passing through uh, Des Moines in the Midwest, but as has been the case for the summer, which you expect most of that stays north of here. Pretty toasty out there today. Everybody in the 90s at uh, 2 o'clock. Numbers range from 90 at Gadsden to 97 at Tuscaloosa and Montgomery. About his forecast. And we'll see numbers like that over the next few days. Mostly low and mid-90s. And around the nation, guess what? It's hot in Texas. But man, is it cool up north. Look at those numbers coming out of Iowa and Minnesota. Of course, they've got some clouds and rain up there. They're in the 60s at uh, 2 o'clock. That's a sign of the times. Watch warning map. Goodness. Wait a minute, is that, that's a snow advisory up there. Are you kidding me? Come on now. That looks like a, a county in Montana. That's a sign that fall's got to be getting close. I like to see that. There's the uh, day one convective outlook. No formal risks. And tomorrow, a slight risk way up north on the Canadian border. Here's the rain for the next five days. Look at that down there in the Gulf of Mexico. Ah, must be tropical season. A wave coming through, uh, suggesting nine inches of rain out in the middle of the Gulf. And who gets it? Will it be uh, Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida? That's one of the things we'll explore as we go along here today. Tropical weather, we've got uh, Katia in the eastern Atlantic. It looks pretty good. That thing's on the verge of becoming a hurricane. And uh, there's the wave in the Caribbean. The circle guys give it a 10% chance of getting its act together. I, of course, that's within 48 hours. If you go beyond that, I think the probability is much higher. Uh, this could be Tropical Storm Lee, perhaps, in the Gulf here in a few days. Here's a look at Katia. Thing looks good. Based on satellite estimates, the sustained winds are 45 miles an hour in the latest NHC package. I think they're higher than that based on that look. Excellent banding, good outflow. Modeling very good agreement. They take the thing north of the Leeward Islands in about five days. And, of course, that is typically a trajectory that does not affect the Gulf of Mexico. And the intensity models all bring this to a major hurricane in five days. In fact, a couple ramp it up to Category 5 status, which is not out of the question, I guess. There's the official track from the Hurricane Center. They've got it as a major hurricane Sunday morning. Around 20 north and 60 west. That's northeast of Puerto Rico. And uh, we'll show you longer range modeling in a bit, but a pretty good likelihood this is a recurving storm, not affecting the United States. There's the wave over the Western Caribbean. Could that become Tropical Storm Lee? Just maybe. And how will it impact Alabama's weather? Let's dig in there and see what we've got. This is the 12Z GFS valid tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. And we've got ridging all across the Deep South. And uh, tomorrow should be pretty much a, a hot, dry day. Although we note the GFS brings up a sliver of moisture. For now, we'll just kind of discount that and just go with a partly to mostly sunny type day. But again, you know, there might be a speck or two on radar. Uh, Alexander City or Auburn or maybe someplace like that. Thursday, pretty much the same deal. Uh, highs in the low and mid-90s, around 93. There's the wave in the Gulf. We'll go to Friday. Again, most folks ought to be dry. We might mention a slight chance of a shower, but obviously no big deal. And there's Saturday starting off the weekend. Strong uh, shortwave coming through the uh, high plains, and that's going to carve out a trough over the east early next week. It's a very interesting setup here. Got that up north. We've got the little tropical system down there. Come on now. Could that be Tropical Storm Lee? Absolutely. 
the GFS depicts it uh, south of the Louisiana coast. And we'll go to Sunday, and the GFS brings that thing right up toward Morgan City, Louisiana. And boy, you can see, look at that now. All right, you got a cold front trailing from a surface low just north of Michigan. A tropical storm coming into Louisiana, packed with moisture. Now, and again, if you got a beach trip coming, if this is right, if this is right, and that's a big if, you got big rains for the Alabama Gulf Coast. Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Pensacola, maybe Destin and Fort Walton even, as far east as there. As they'll be on the wet side of this, but you, you see that cold front coming. That moisture coming up from the south could set up a big rain event for the state on Labor Day. I'm not saying yet it will. Confidence is not high in this tropical feature yet. Just for the fun of it now, let's check the European. Oh, yeah, it's different looking. This is Sunday uh, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It has the tropical feature in the western Gulf, approaching Brownsville, Texas, with all the deep moisture way down south not affecting us. No rain for the Gulf Coast. So that's what I'm saying. If you've got a beach trip planned, don't panic yet because there's huge discrepancy in these two models. European has a thing coming in toward Brownsville, the GFS toward Louisiana. The Louisiana solution, we get really wet. And uh, this solution, we get the cold front coming in, but probably not that much rain. Let's go to uh, Monday, Labor Day, back to the uh, GFS. That's a wet-looking solution. Cold front coming in from the north, tropical system, meandering just off the Louisiana coast. Interesting how, you know, the thing just kind of sits down there. And then Tuesday, a week from today, look at the trough over the east. Nice. Nice. And down below that, uh, Lee, or what could be Lee, is, is drifting southwest in the Gulf. And dry continental air moves in here. So, you know, it. I'll say now this is a tricky forecast uh, due to the huge discrepancy here. But I, I think we're, we're still going to lean in the direction of enhanced rain chances. Maybe as early as Sunday, but certainly on Labor Day. And then we go drier and cooler and less humid on Tuesday. If this is right. And also Tuesday, we note Katia off in the Atlantic, north of Puerto Rico. Go the uh, next day. This is uh, Wednesday of next week. We're dry as a bone. Look at that thing. You know, the, the deal that was on the Louisiana coast, the GFS drops it all the way down to the Bay of Campeche. I'm not so sure it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, Katia is moving north. There's the 8th, Thursday the 8th. Let me tell you what, that, that hurricane is going to be awfully close to Bermuda if this is right. And, of course, we don't know this far in advance. But, again, the idea is solid of this thing recurving, not affecting the United States. We're dry. And uh, the end of next week, Friday the 9th, Katia is coming up toward the Canadian Maritimes. We are dry as could be. And uh, just continental air. Check the end of the forecast, the 15th of September. Ooh, another nice trough coming down the pike, and that's going to push another cold front this way. And another tropical system down there in that lower left corner, out there around uh, Puerto Rico. And again, typically at that latitude, they are not Gulf systems. They are Atlantic systems, and it sure seems to be for most of these. It's going to be the season of the Atlantic storm. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.